And with me today is Representative Charlie Brown of Gary, and we're going to talk about a remarkable man named Mayor Richard Hatcher. Mm -hmm. You remember him quite well, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, <clears throat> I have an interesting history with Mayor Richard Gordon Hatcher. I was a school teacher in 1967 um, when a fellow school teacher of mine uh, named by the name of Jesse Bell approached me about trying to coordinate the teachers and get them to support uh, Richard Hatcher for mayor. He was a city council person at that point and in 1967 decided to run for mayor. And Jesse Bell was one of his, was his campaign manager and was a fellow school teacher and asked me as a member of the teachers union to see if I could not organize uh, school teachers to support and endorse uh, Richard Hatcher for mayor. Uh, he was very successful and took office in 1968. Uh, now, I am a teacher and had not planned to be in Gary, Indiana that long and was considering in April of 1968 after his election to go back to Philadelphia and apply for a teaching position. Shortly before the spring break of that year, I get a call from City Hall uh, asking me to come down there. And I'm thinking that, well, it's just to talk about trying to keep that teacher organization together and not let it fizzle. But lo and behold, uh, Richard Hatcher offered me a job with his administration. Hatcher was so innovative and creative. Uh, he, he even had the first uh, African American convention in Gary, Indiana. I mean, this is a very small community, and he was able to attract um, African Americans from all over the country, be they just community organizers to to uh, 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 outstanding uh, leaders of, of various organizations, all came to Gary, Indiana. Uh, this must have been 1978 to have this uh, political convention uh, to talk about mobilizing more African Americans to run for political office. And that was a, a big success that uh, African Americans went back home, be they from California or New York or wherever, and mobilized their communities and, 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 and got more African Americans elected. This all uh, initiated by Richard Hatcher. Uh, the, other, the most intriguing thing is Mayor Hatch is a very mild-mannered man, um, and it does not matter even today in my travels. If I say I am from Gary, Indiana, uh, two things will happen. Do you know the Jackson Five or do you know Mayor Hatcher? Uh, the, those two have put uh, Gary, Indiana on the map. Uh, even today, uh, he, he's a very uh, humble man. Uh, he's practicing law now, uh, has a large family. He had three daughters. All three of them went to law school and are practicing law. He is still practicing law. I think he gave up teaching at Valparaiso University where he, uh, where he received his law degree. I think he is still teaching at Indiana University Northwest, but other than that, uh, he is just a, a settled member of the Gary community now. It bothers me the fact that he, he, at home and even now nationally, the name Richard Gordon Hatcher has kind of fizzled and people are not he, the young people in particular are not even aware of the fact that he opened the door for, for many, many uh, uh, African Americans to become mayors. And uh, in fact, he, he is uh, in an indirect way responsible for President Obama being the president of the United States today because of the fact that he was the first uh, African American elected official of a major city. It's a great legacy to have. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, uh, you know, I still, uh, I have made a request. Uh, my, one of, my godson is, um, 
uh, at Harvard University, professor at Harvard, and regularly uh, uh, gets on the train and goes up and smokes cigars with uh, President Obama. And I've encouraged him to consider, uh, ask the president to consider giving Hatcher the Medal of Honor or one of those national awards that he gives out on an annual basis so that we can never forget uh, what Richard Hatcher has done for all of us. I would not be here as a state representative today if it were not for Richard Hatcher.